just what I needed. No! Oh, shit. Oh, oh. He sounds busy in there. I'll leave him to it. Oh. Or maybe not. Hey, dude. Everything okay in here? I... I... I, I don't know. <laughs> What do you mean you don't know? I think I'm broken, dude. Broken? Body melt has broken me. Uh, okay, all right. Hang on a minute. You're not making any sense. Take a breath and tell me what's wrong. I'm attempting to write the sketch for this week's episode, but this movie, it's, it's perfection. How can I top perfection? It can't be that hard. You're letting yourself think about it too much. Not that hard. For Christ's sake, William McInnes' face explodes, the Knight Rider himself, Vincent Gill, plays a bloke named Pud, Andrew Datto is an insufferable cop, and Harold Bishop is the evil doctor. What the hell can I do with that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I, I, I see what you mean, but come on, man. I know you. I'm sure you can come up with something. A pregnant Lisa McCune violently shoots out her placenta which goes on to run amok around her house, eventually strangling her husband whilst her now empty belly bursts open, shooting out steam like a womb geyser. I... I... I have no words. Now you see my dilemma. Fuck. Wait, wait. What, did you say episode? Yeah, you know, for our podcast. The one where we talk about horror movies and put together a hopefully funny sketch at the beginning. Yeah, no, no, I understand that part. But if you're writing a sketch now, and this is reality, then why do I have a postcard from Elsa? What? Let me see that. Oh my god. This is from the Vimeview Health Resort. Wait, like the one that... No way. Oh shit, dude. This isn't real. Not real. How can you say that? Paul. We're in the sketch. This is the sketch. Okay, you're starting to scare me now. Open your eyes, dude. Can't you tell? How can you tell? Well, for starters, we don't live together. Shit. You're right. What the fucking hell is going on? Okay, it looks like we're trapped in the cliche sketch within a sketch bit. The fallback for when a writer becomes desperate. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm freaking out, dude. What do we do? What do we do? It's okay. We've just got to stay calm and write it out. If I'm right, the theme song will kick in any minute now, and that'll put it into this. See? What did I tell you? Welcome to another episode of Into the Minds of Madness, the horror movie podcast with me, your scaredy cat, Paul McWhorter, and with me as always is your aficionado, Mr. Chris Dicker. How are you, man? Very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you feeling after this one? Yeah, no, I, I don't feel as uncomfortable as I did after Antiviral. That's good. <laughs> there were still some fucking needles. God damn it, though. Oh, yeah. So, but that's all right. That's all right. We just saw... Body Melt. Body Melt. From 1992, 25 years ago. Mm. 25 years ago. Wow. Yeah, I was two years old. Two years old. I was four. I was four, You're man. an old man. I'm an old man. I'm an old man. Old two years older. Yeah. So directed by Philip Brophy. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know anything no. of his work. I mean, um, I didn't really research it. <laughs> yeah. No, it was like... Uh, th- I mean, this was one that you hadn't seen yet as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is one that, like, I... Saw it on DVD, and the cover was just a dude's face, it, like his eyes exploding, and all that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, that looks like a pleasant film. I'll buy that. <laughs> and pleasant th- film. <laughs> and then that's his. Then I found out there was going to be a Blu-ray release, and then I re- put looked into it, and then I saw the cast. And yeah, which is a bit of a who's who of um, '90s Australian yeah. actors. It was it was pretty incredible, actually. It was well, I had I cut. We said we nailed it before when we first started watching. It's a time capsule of a mu- movie. It totally is. Like, from the fashion 
to seeing Ampol, like the oh, old, the old no, service station. Yeah. Uh, little things like that were just that they were total blast from the it past. Did, yeah, it was, it was fun to see. Yeah, it was really <laughs> strange. It was great. But so we'll uh, do, we'll do a little bit of a synopsis and then we might go through who sure. the cast is. Yeah, sure. So yeah, body melt. This is a it's a weird. It's not a plot, is it? Like it's just kind of happens. Yeah, it's 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 a happening, and yeah, it, it, yeah there's no real story. Like I guess it's, it's a it's a very small self contained story. It probably only takes place over the course of maybe like a day or two. Yeah, it feels that way. Yeah, yeah. but it basically like. There is a company that are making a sort of a wellness drug. They're testing it on a small. Oh, what do you call that? Like a. Uh, is it supplement? Is it a, is it a supplement? They don't really explain what what it is, do they? Yeah, it's like they keep going on about it. Like I mean, they never truly properly explain it. I think they just kind of get caught up in the idea of it. Like yeah. They never actually thought, oh, we've got to do some science here. No, they really don't do they. No, but like it's supposed to like unleash your you know you know the unlocked abilities that people have that's about as much as I could gather yeah from it. <laughs> it really didn't delve too deep into it at all it was ju- it was almost like just a it was well done like because usually these kind of movies it's just like the plot is just a way to get to the next gory death yeah this one there was still there was a bit of a bit of humor there was a yeah. okay story going yeah. on yeah yeah I mean it was just like like I, I wouldn't really call it uh, yeah just your run of the mill kind of just Aussie knock around kind of, kind of humor that kind of thing like yeah. kind of light heartedness really more yeah. than, more than humor it, it definitely guess. was not taking itself seriously no it really wasn't which which I which I appreciated after the kind of heaviness of antiviral last week yeah oh this, this was I look lovely this was welcomed this was yeah mm. it's quite nice it was a nice change of pace I totally agree I totally agree with you so it was I, I'm not sure what the company was actually called but the but the wellness center that they yeah, built the, was yeah, called Vimeville is it? I don't think that's the company name. That was the company name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yantabula was the um the farm, the the resort that they're at. Had. Oh no, but yeah. So vi- wait. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yantabula is where like they're doing the testing and all that. Ah, uh, yeah, th- where they're doing the testing. Yeah, that yeah. one that I still cannot pronounce. The other one. Vimeville. That's the one. Yeah. That's the yeah. That's the company name. I don't even think they ever actually say the company name either. You just no. see it on products all the time. And like so even once they like, um, one of the detectives asked. Oh, what what do the V stand for? And she just says vitamins. And it obviously, yeah. it's not what, it's not what it stands for. No, it, it made <laughs> that 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 kind of made zero sense to me, to be mm-hmm. honest. Zero sense. But I mean, and then it kind of only affects the people in this certain in this certain cul-de-sac, Pebbles Court. Cul-de-sac. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. No. These these are um, illegal test subjects. Uh, like, you know, they've been targeted by this company and the residents of Pebble Creek, was it? Uh, Pebbles it Court. Pebbles Court, Pebbles in, Court Homesville. in Homesville, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, they are the um, unfortunate victims. Little guinea pigs do their tests. The yeah. The drug. The, and, and, it's, and it's really kind of strange because there are... Um, so a couple of them get affected because they are, they are seeing a specific doctor. Yes. And a family become infected by going to this wellness center. Yeah. But then two of the people from the street, they just decide to go for a drive and their windshield gets fucked up. Uh, I believe they were on their way to something, to like that wellness center. Ah, okay. Cause Cause okay, mm. all right. But, but still, yeah, they got sidetracked. And yeah, and then mm. got killed by um, these, what did you describe them as? Well, at first, I, I'd written down a friendly The Hills Have Eyes family. Yeah. But... Yeah, that changed pretty quickly. That changed pretty quickly. Rather furious. (laughs) 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 Still kept the hills have eyes because though they didn't say they uh, ate anybody. Yeah, that's true. They they just it was it was just like oh you fucked up again. We got to kill the other one now. They one poor bloke. Um, what was his fate? Just trying to get a bit of you know, bit a bit of ugly ass. Yeah, it was really strange. Like and he copped a. What she she was like? she, She said, "Would you like a love bite?" And she just just starts. Ripping his neck apart, and then pretty it much. was the don't forget the giant uh, iron bar to yeah, the crotch. Yeah, the giant iron bar to the crotch. Multiple times, Ma- blood uh, everywhere. Ah, uh, wow, not worth it. Yeah, was that th- that wasn't our f- was that our first death? It was, wasn't no, no, it? No, 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 no. First death was um, uh, what was his name? Oh, Ryan of course, Brennan. 
Yes, the bloke in the car. The bloke in the car, the guy who kind of kicks all this off. Yeah, he's, yeah, he kind of does kick everything off. He he's ki- he's trying. Is he trying to expose it? I believe that's what yeah. it was. He's he's un- he's unhappy with the company, and he, as most of these kind of whistleblowers, he's hooking up with the with the boss. Yeah, the yeah, and 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 we see some T and A and T and A and D. Oh man, I didn't need to see straight that. away, like just instantly, like didn't it was just dick. like we, but. But that's what we got with um with Eaten Alive as well. We just got mm. nudity straight away. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Sometimes. The credits had hardly finished rolling yet, mm. and we were already we were already seeing nudity. It always surprises me how much nudity is in horror movies because I just don't put those two together. I don't. Yeah, it's it's mm. yeah, it's, it's just yeah. I mean, and but then I don't Gotta put bums in seats. Do we see? I don't think we see any more nudity, do we? We see a. Dick oh or no! Two. Oh no! We do. We do see an, a sex scene as well. Mm. Yeah, which is a very quick way for those just to kill those two people off because they're taking the vitamins and they work for this company. Oh, that's right. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah, that was. A, I gotta say, all the deaths were pretty outstanding, except for that one. That was a letdown. Yeah, that was a real. They're letdown. Just like, oh, we gotta quickly kill him. Yeah, and then and well, and because she wasn't on anything, she she just liked the buff blokes, yeah. the, blo- the buff blokes, mate. Well, and and she just got choked yeah, as he out. his as he like died. His he back just split. Yeah, it was... I think that was the moment where the budget ran out. Yeah, okay. okay. That's what I kind of feel. It's like, oh, fuck, we've just got nothing left. Yeah, that's true. We've exploded everything. We're out of dicks. Great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, well, let's go kind of... I guess we kind of touched on a few of the different characters that are in this mm-hmm. just through that synopsis. So, um, let's go through the cast. Yeah. Because it is a bit... It's a... It's... It's really strange. So, w- well, we're going to save... I'm just telling you now. We're going to save the obvious one for the end. You know mm-hmm. exactly which the obvious one is. Yeah. Oh, because that is just... Oh, mm-hmm. It's beautiful. So, so we'll, we'll we'll kick off with um, William McInnes. Yeah, so William McInnes. He's from, from Blue Healers. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was kind of... He was... Uh, so an auction show on Channel 2 I quite like. Oh, re- oh mm-hmm. really? Yeah, that shows what kind of my taste is sometimes. Oh. I watch a bit of Antiques Roadshow. Okay, all know. right. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning s- new stuff about you every Could day, Chris. It's the grandest, whitest thing I've ever watched. <laughs> 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 He's got uh. a bird-watching show as well. I just thought I'd mention that. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, all right. That's interesting. Good Good on William McInnes. He's not the most interesting bloke in the world, is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, so he plays Paul Matthews. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's he's kind of... When um, our, our first victim... Yeah, but when he dies, and well, when he's when he's trying to warn them, I guess yeah, he he, he finds out the, about he, he acts into into, 90s into shitty Google Earth, the nineties Google Earth. Oh my god, so funny! And the music playing behind it, oh, and and it just had to have the voiceover too, didn't it? Oh yeah, that weird, just emulated voice, and it looked like it was made in like paint. Oh, so ridiculous, so good. So he he was one of the one of the doctor's patients. So this is how he was infected. Mm. Then we have, uh, let's see, who else do we have? Another, oh, well, the other doctor's uh, patient, Lisa McCune. Lisa McCune, yeah. Yes, Lisa McCune, also from Blue Healers. Do you reckon pre, that's pre-Blue Healers? The, sure. I think this, this would have been just before Blue Healers, yeah, like yeah. really just ago. before, yeah. Mm. So uh, she's pregnant. Yes. And uh, the doctor is her doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Keep, I just I just like keep alluding to him because I'm, <laughs> I'm just, just the tease, the sizzle. Um, so... So that so she's pregnant. That's how that's how she is infected. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have a couple of the our cops. Oh yeah. So Jared Kennedy, mm-hmm. who you would have seen. Uh, I'm trying to think what the most recent thing he was in. Um, I I had thought I thought about it before, but it doesn't matter. He's 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 a, you de- if if you don't know the name, you definitely recognise him. The second yeah, you see him, kind of he's pretty much he's kind of our main uh, our main cop. Mm. Really, so he, he's he's the old guy, he's senior de- detective. He's the yeah, one. senior detective Phillips. Here we are. Then his new go-getter partner, oh God. Mr. Andrew Datto. Yeah, I was excited for this, but then I, he started talking. Yeah, and, and it was just really fucking they irritating. Just written him as the most annoying character. Yeah, like. they. I don't really don't think they really tried with him. Nah. And and his name. This is what he's na- he's credited as as well. Mm. Jono. That's it. That's he's a he cop. didn't even give a last name yeah, or a it, title. Yeah, he didn't even get a title. Like so. <laughs> he's a yeah, he he wasn't he wasn't just detective D- detective Jono. Like, like because he was a detective mm. as well. Maybe he's like, one of those like um, you know, he's got a 
equal workplace sort of thing, and he just tags along with the boss. Oh yeah, it's like oh my, it's like he's just on work experience yeah, or some shit, be. like <laughs> adult work experience. All right, and I guess the might as well the Don Mega, Mister oh. Ian Smith, mm. Doctor Carrera. Which is a, a bit of a strange name for like an old white guy, Carrera. Yeah, you know, like I, I couldn't hear it like once. Every time they said it, I just missed a syllable yep. or something from it. Yeah, so Guerrera irritating. Che? Yeah, I I th- I thought they said Guerrero at some point as well. But so he was dope. Cool. and he was he when we first see him, he is uh, with Lisa McCune mm-hmm. checking on the baby because she's not feeling all that well. Yeah, she's not getting any sleep. Yep. Um, so and he's like, I oh, it it might be the child, might be the infant, um, and she's like, okay, they you know he leaves, uh, she leaves, and then and we're like, oh okay, so I was thinking he might have been the, in that you know thirty seconds or so, I was like, okay, well he might be the doctor to be able to save everyone or something like that, yeah, find a cure, yeah. and then the next thing we see, he's like, he he calls somebody on speakerphone, he's like, are you alone? Oh, it's like, like okay, here we go, here we go. He's the main man. He's the he's the boss. Yep. He's the one behind all of it. This vague, yep. vague plan. <laughs> yep. And it was um to see to see Harold from Neighbors as a villain. Yeah, in a slightly not thin, but he's slightly thinner. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Mm. He, he? He didn't have the wobble. No, no wobble. No wobble there. No wobble to be seen whatsoever. There was not a confused head shake to be found. No, not one. He was in control. Oh yeah. The majority of the time, anyway. Except when he. He did lose an ear at some stage. Yes, when um during William McInnes's death, yeah, he um he ends up as as his head's expanding and ready to just kind of just have this. Wh- how, what what happened let's, with him? Do, do you think his Do you think his skin just blew off? I think that's what it was. It was just like his face projected, like and just went bang. Yeah, just popped off. Like all of, it's like all of his his eyes and his mouth. Like he could still like work out features, but it was just all his skin was gone. Mm. And just, yeah, it was like it popped off around his features. It was really strange. It was, a, it was an interesting one. And as it was that happening... That was the one on the cover of the DVD, and I went, oh. That was the one, okay. Well, and, and that's as that's happening, he rips off Harold's ear. Yeah, I'm going to call him Harold, so... Oh, no, yeah, it's going to slip. It's yeah, I can't help it's it. It's unavoidable. Yeah, I'm just, so just going to commit to it now. <laughs> and, yeah, let's, let's touch on... Um, what was Will... And Paul? Yeah, Paul Matthews. Let's Paul talk Matthews. about what happens to Paul. So when you're on this drug, and it goes bad <laughs> it kind of overloads your body basically um first stage is hallucinogenic and i thought it's just going to be some cheesy effects you know seeing pretty colors stuff like that but now nah, these are pretty fucked up these are really vivid full body like there's a person there talking to him yeah yeah i gotta say i was quite surprised like they had that was genuinely unsettling it was wasn't it i scared yeah not scared but unsettling and but he seemed to be the only one who was hallucinating though like they're like do you know of anything with you know starts with hallucinations is yeah. the first stage and then they said tracks. um then second stage was was gastro is that what they said oh and it was something more to do with the, the throat the gl- gland oh yeah um glandular there we are. yeah it was yeah second stage is glandular um but he was the only one who seemed to suffer from those ones. Yeah, like, I he didn't hallucinate. Like, nobody else hallucinated. Yeah, we didn't see them hallucinating. Like, I thought one of them was, but then it turned out, no, that actually was actually happening. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I think they just kind of had to quickly had to fast track it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay. Because it, it's, uh, it's not the longest movie. It's still... Yeah, it was, it was pretty much 80 minutes, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, 80 minutes. It's but this kind of movie, that's nice. I, I, it, it, these they can overstay their welcome. Really yeah, yeah. Really I carefully. I kind of felt a little bit. I have kind of felt a little like a little bit like that with a couple of the movies we have seen. It's like uh, this is just dragging on a bit oh, now. Yeah. 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 Could you imagine some of the ones I've had to sit through, like by choice? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At, at least I can blame these on you. So, well, um, let's talk about the uh, the far the. Well, no, I no, no. Not, sorry, well, with um, we want to talk about favorite bit with um, Paul Matthews. When you're seeing this woman, oh yes, and yes. And then you know, it escalates. He sees her at the airport. They go back to his place somehow. Blah 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 blah. Ends up she turning into this kind of attractive woman, and they're having these really weird, not sex scenes, but she's just like massaging his ribs. Yeah, and eventually she reveals that. So weird that she's on a quest to, what was it obtain? collect yeah. thirteen ribs from Male thirteen ribs. men? Yeah, and you. It's not like she's 
she just doesn't do like surgery for anything. She just keeps rubbing, and his rib just comes out of his chest. Yeah, it just pops out. It's it's almost like she's kind of massaging to summon it almost, mm. and it just kind of starts its way out. And he looked like he was enjoying it too. Yeah, it was really thing. strange. Yeah. Uh, but then, but then, it. none of that actually happened when it came to his death. So like, what does that say? And about yeah, and and they were talking about those thirty ribs. I thought that was going to come back in some way, and I was like, nah. Yeah, me too. I thought nah. it was like talking about the rest of the residents, and like she's, this she is the drug. Like that's the what you see, and that's what she's killed the twelve other people. But no, it was just no. Yeah, nothing to bit. it. Yeah, nothing to it. Simple as that. It was so strange. So sh- I'm glad it was there, but fucking strange. Yeah, really <laughs> weird. So um, well yeah, then let's talk about the let's talk about the. Not the farm, that the the house. Yeah, well, well, I think it was like a like a pit stop. Like a, you know, you could, you could have what was it? Breakfast, lunch, or tea. Yeah, that's right. Breakfast, lunch, or tea. Yeah, yeah. So she, she was like coffee and biscuits, and she was like, "We got breakfast, lunch, and tea. Mm-hmm. That's it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, and uh, Pud, the main guy, is apparently in Mad Max. Yeah, I I, I see his face. I can and. It's driving me nuts that I cannot remember which, who he was. Like, it's pissing me off. Yeah, so and then, and one of the kids is Matthew Newton. And I could not put I my, f- p- he did not look like Matthew Newton. I no, could I not. I can't pick it either. I, I couldn't tell which one either. Mm-mm. I had no idea. But, so Pud is the main guy's name. I have no idea the rest of, like, who's who, but it's Bab, Bronto, and Slab. What a name. Slab. I don't know which one's which. No, me neither. They just kind of screeched and hollered and talked over each yeah, other a lot. It was very strange. They ma- even Pud just didn't speak sense. He just was talking random bits. And yeah. Even at their end of their sort of like the last yeah, season, well they're rambling off um, Highway Star by Deep Purple. Yeah, it's like they kind of made no sense. And it was kind of like in Razorback a few weeks ago when um our main character, hmm. uh, I can't remember his name, but it, um, w- when he meets the... Uh, the two bogans they just become fast friends somehow and the same thing happens oh, here yeah. they just become friends so quickly like mm. it comes out of nowhere like he just gets impressed by so somehow we so one of them just out of nowhere gets yelled at and they're like oh shit and they just start running and then it's a kangaroo oh that's right he picks up a rock yeah. makes this no, weird a screech he a chick I I that don't know I that, yeah, that I, was female. I got no idea. But still, that's a fucking noise. Screech! This weird screech. Guttural. Yeah, and then pegs a rock and just kills his root. Which was not a, that was hilarious. That root. Yeah, that oh, was a root on a stick. Yeah, it was so funny. That was so funny. Straight down. And then they like all four of them just start cheering. Mm. Just start cheering. So so this is the the two younger. Uh, of the of the four weirdos, yeah, they're driving and a Monaro with and, the um, and Gino and Sal, Gino and Sal, who are from Pebbles Court in their Unreal Monaro. Oh my god, Unreal was another fight. It's so fucking so funny. Good. So then they all just start cheering, mm. just all four of them like, "Yeah, we did it!" Mm-hmm. And then the two weirdos just start running at the kangaroo. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one pulls out a knife and just starts stabbing it in the neck, in the back of the head, yeah. kind of thing as well, and. And what does he pull out? What does he call it? The, uh, the crazy worm. In other words, the adrenal gland Whoa. of the roo. They split it, smash it down, and they just go fucking ballistic mm-hmm. again. But at the same time, they f- I felt like they were going ballis- that ballistic the entire time anyway. They did seem to ramp up. Like, <laughs> no, they did to like, Just start ripping each other apart. It was really like strange. It was really strange. And that's... And then, and just, and then that just after that is when, um, is when either Gino or Sal gets his, yeah, the ne- his of neck, the two. Rip, yeah, yeah, gets his neck ripped out. Mm-hmm. And at this time, the other one is is just running, is just looking around the house, yeah, and notice a porno on, oh, and oh, goes goes scene. and has a look, oh. and then he gets startled and turns around, and there's like the grandmother sitting there. Just oh yeah, he went to porn. sit down, and yeah. And there's the grandmother just sitting there watching porn, like half dead, and then she's all like just not even moving. Out of her mouth, like oh, covered in like soot. And, like and that's when he runs out and finds out that that his mate's been killed, and then there are. He, for him. And then he tries to take get the getaway car. Oh, that's such a good idea. And it was and it was literally just a car that was, um, just in a in a circle, like just it had just ground out apart in the in mm-hmm. the sand, mm-hmm. and he went to jump in it, went to try and try and steer away and everything. 
and then he then he just hits the the tree in the middle, and the and uh, Pud comes up and just go just shows him that the steering wheel's not even attached. Yeah, just not gonna, there's no steering just, in the truck at all. No steering in the truck at all, what? and they just he just he just hangs his head, and then they all just start yelling, and then They're next scene. And so of course, see you later, dude. Yeah. Either Gene or Sal, we hardly knew you. <laughs> So weird. Oh, so weird. Really good. Well, let's talk about... Because this doesn't often happen for me in a movie. I do not often find myself mouth agape just watching a scene. Yes. Yes. I know where you're going with this. Please continue. This is a I'm stopping you. A pair I'm of interrupting. Words. Continue. A pair of, a pair <laughs> of words. <laughs> Sorry. I never thought I would come out of my mouth on... To be recorded. Runaway placenta. Oh, Whoa! So th- this is this is how we see Lisa McCune's death. Yeah. So y- she's gotten home from uh, from the doctors and all that, and she's still feeling a bit unwell. She's walking through the house, and suddenly she just she goes to have a s- cup of sip of her tea, and she just gets this awful pain in the stomach and drops to her knees, and you hear the most awful sound of just <laughs> wet something hitting the ground. Yeah. And you just see a bit of blood, and you it's I knew straight away like it's either a baby or something to do with a baby yes. on that tire work yeah. right now. Yeah. And then we see it like it's uh, straight away. I thought like, wow, face huggers from Alien are really just designed this placenta with mouths. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, that's uh, but anyway, she freaks out. She's looking at this placenta on the ground. She's still pregnant. Like. How and the fuck is this happening? suddenly the phone goes off and it happens to be the doctor. Are you okay? Mm. Um, is the placenta supposed to be rejected a month before the birth of the baby? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think it's supposed to. Can you come over now? <laughs> like, now this is fucked. Um, so, that's it. she's called uh, Ian Smith. And, um, he's yes. called her husband to send him over. And we cut back to Lisa. I didn't even write her name. Uh, it <laughs> was, I did have it written down, Cheryl. Cheryl, we cut back to Cheryl, and she's tripping balls. There's a there's a trail where the runaway placenta has gone. Yeah. She's running around, and all of a sudden, her stomach is just making, well, the womb is still making these crazy noises and yep. actions, and she ends up jumping on the bed and is trying to, s- for some reason, she had, like, I don't know, Look some like ancient a l- dagger yeah. used to like, kill the spawn of Satan <laughs> on her, you know, bedside table. As you do, and is trying to stab the, the stomach, and then so the husband walks in, and Cheryl, and then he gets fucking placenta choked out. Like yeah, he gets strangled by placenta. And uh, uh, he's he's before before he uh, gets strangled mm-hmm. by the placenta, he's able to stop her from stabbing herself. Then, which is pretty much pointless he because then uh, her stomach just busts open anyway. She has a full, you know, John Carpenter, the thing splits open, steam coming out. Yep. What the actual fuck? Yeah. Like <laughs> so what what happened to the child? There's no baby. Like there was no baby. It, 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 was, it, it was just like a, or, or it's like her placenta ate the baby or something. Oh, that's a fuck. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> oh, shit. Because they, they left the shot when the, with the husband, like it going in his mouth. Yeah. Like what crawling into his placenta? mouth. Because you see him at the end, he's like coughing up. He looks like Toad from X Men, just coughing up green. Yeah, he 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 doesn't like look and like he doesn't explode. Nothing really happens to him. He just kind of coughs up all this crap and. Ooh, what happened to the fucking placenta? (laughs) Jesus Christ! Where's the sequel? (laughs) (laughs) Oh goodness gracious! So, oh, but yeah, I mean, and that was just that scene was just all kinds of fucked up. Placenta (laughs) boogaloo. Oh my god! <laughs> well done. I enjoyed that one a lot. Oh, and any time I can have Boogaloo to rhyme with too oh, as right. a sequel, it's it's, it's nice. really hard not to. It's really hard not to. Great word. All right. Well, I want us to talk about Harold a little bit. Mm. We got to see him shoot a motherfucking weapon. Yeah, he could be a bit of badass. Yeah. How cool is that? He's like shooting at a mother and child. Yeah, and then he also when he's speaking to. To uh, the 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 boss of, uh, what was it called again? Vimeoville. Hmm. When he's talking to her, she oh. all she's worried about is is opening the chain stores, and he's like, "No, we can't be doing that. 
like it's the it's too volatile yet we c- like yeah, we there's can't no release this product it's going to kill people exactly and she says she says but I'm ready to open all these chain stores just next week and he just says fuck the chain store what about the cops how damn good is that to hear so Harold he say the f word man it's, it's the f bomber it's like your nan swearing it's it's weird it's it was so strange it's the ear strange I know yeah totally hits the ear strange like it just love it though. Oh, it was so good, and he, I, I think he played it very well as well. He did. He like he looked like he enjoyed himself. He yeah, to this movie, which he really was, did. We were talking before. We had a little break between recording and watching the film, and um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised that he's that he chose to do this movie. It yeah. seems out of character for him. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed his performance. It looked like he had fun. Yeah, me too. It's like yeah. um Patrick Stewart. Like he's come out and said American Dad is his favorite role. Yeah, he just do whatever. So strange, isn't it? I, I wish Blunt Talk was able to keep going. Hmm. Sorry, we're getting off track, but <laughs> I, I anyway. love Blunt Talk. so fucking good. <laughs> um, anyway. But, hmm. Well, let's talk. I want to just state how, you know, this was it had some good moments. It was fun. I enjoyed it. This is the kind of movie I like. It's yeah, like, I, 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 I did enjoy it, yeah. But, fuck. It has not dated well. No, it really oh has not. Oh, my goodness. Like, first off, the music. Like, there was a shitty Mortal Kombat theme yeah, knockoff like during that whole runway placenta scene. It's it's and and that's not just the time capsule thing about it and the aging not aging well, but it just it made no sense to the feel of the movie either. It, yeah, it, it couldn't there was no tone. There was no theme to it. Like yeah. Was nothing could was settled and it was just random snippets of it made no s- yeah. Really weak early nineties electronic stuff. Like yeah, like no like ca- kind of kind of just before like you know that the, the mid nineties techno really hit. Yeah. Like, like it, it's just really weak kind of technology. It's not there yet. Almost like it's, it's just. just all, like it just. It was hurt. awful. It, um, yeah. Like at times it was like, oh, this is funny. It but sounded eight bit ish as well. Like yeah. yeah. Just, it just yeah, it gave me the something about some like with the nineties stuff. It's just like it's it's fun to look at with nostalgia, but sometimes it just gives you that gross cheap feeling. Yeah. Just, everything was a bit nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Made. Yes. Exactly. I loved a bit of fluoro and awful. Oh, yeah, I mean, well, Andrew Dado even used the word, uh, the phrase, fuck a dark. Fuck a dark. Haven't heard that in a while. Nah, not at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and I mean, even his slurs were out of date. Like, oh, see, yeah, he made it unbearable. He, he used happened. the P word. He said, Pufta. Yeah, I heard Pufta a couple of times. God. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's a like, drunken uncle thing. Like, and I mean, and that is totally, that is. Like t- that is that is such a time capsuled word that oh, one yeah. as well. Oh yeah. Like drop the p word in. No, nah, dude, do not at all. Like I just couldn't believe that too. Yo, you like, just reminded me. There was the the with the car accident at the beginning. They crash into a um a real estate agent's van. Oh yes. The best name. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's let, let's yeah let's go through some little like stray observations yeah. that we really need to have a this look one at. This tickled me. I loved it. A Salter. Oh, that thing. was like. Oh man, and it was for no reason either. Yeah. Like it was just it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Talking time capsule, we're we're missing a very important death. Hmm. The kid on the rollerblades. Whoa, yeah, that was weird. Oh my god. Just like the family, we forgot about him. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, <laughs> right away, as soon as he didn't turn up for dinner. Yep. Oh, so he did, oh, he's probably camping. That's fine. He's just rollerblading. Yep. So he goes to a half pipe after his sister goes like he's he's been he's a little brat. She his mum even introduces him as the little brat. Yeah, she what is it? first his sister calls him and says, Fuck off, Wiener Dick. Yep, yep. And What's then a wiener dick? And he goes, Well I am, I'm going rollerblading. She goes, Hope you break your neck. What a fucked up thing to say. Yeah. Did some yeah. That uh, so his rollerblading montage. The music in that too was just fucking. And oh. he just knew what was gonna happen. Like yeah. they, shouldn't, they shouldn't have. Well, I'm glad they did because it probably would have. You know, that would have been an absolute shock to see a kid just die. Yeah. He didn't just break his neck, did he? Like, though, we fucking cheered because as soon as yeah. you said that, I turned to you and said, "What's the bet that like this? We're about to see a child have his neck snapped." Yeah, it's like it yes, happened. I think this is gonna happen. Woo! We high five. Yeah, we did. We high fived over a child breaking his neck. Yeah. I felt bad. Yeah, like, yeah. So he snaps his neck. Like, I didn't expect to see it. Like, once we did see it. Yeah. It was a cool effect. It looked sick, but really wasn't expect to see a 
child's face yeah, ripped he off. Been like what, 10, 11, 12? Yeah, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Yeah, it was just really weird. It was his whole like skin was peeled off. His like his, you see his teeth and his like nasal cavity. Oh, yeah. God. Oh man, it was it was pretty confronting, but it was like if fuck, yeah, well, good job. That looks really good. That's a rarity. Yeah. You know, it's you don't know, do not often see like kids being killed in horror movies. Yeah. Like it's 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 implied if anything. Implied, but you don't often see it, and especially when it's kind of like an innocent kid, like even yeah. a little brat. Yeah. You don't often see an innocent kid killing, being killed. It was really strange, wasn't it? Yeah, like I I did enjoy it. <laughs> like I said, I yeah. did enjoy it. I I didn't enjoy the lead up. Well, what, you didn't like no, the sorry, I, I montage of I him d- doing the same. Whoa, whoa. I did enjoy it in the way that it fucking so, it was so bad. <laughs> it's fantastic. Like, like it, he's. He did, wasn't making the like he kept like coming down and up like it didn't make no sense. No, it didn't. Body no, was. it was so strange. So good and that radical, so radical, bro. Oh, that that did music. Did they even say bro in the nineties? That's a naughty thing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think they really s- would have said what bro. What did we say? Man, most probably. Yeah, pr- dude. Dude, that's a radical man. Yeah, man. dude, that's a radical man. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, let's let's talk about like so speaking of like far out radical cool shit. Um, let's talk about some of the other weird shit that we've like the standout funny bits that we found like assault or real estate assault um well like I, I I just love seeing the VB I must admit the wiener dick joke yeah like well not it wasn't even really a joke oh, the, and just we even we didn't touch on poor Bo dick exploding oh yes the dick explosion that oh, poor shit. motherfucker so one of the other muscle men sorry that's right we we, did, we haven't touched on the muscle men that's what I want to talk about being Far out radical, cool shit, and not dating well. Like, there's just these muscle dudes running the, well, doing all the tasks in this health resort. Yeah, health resort. Yeah. Uh, Bo and Squeaky Voice. Can't remember his name. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The fucking just like random muscle dudes in blue robe singlets and short shorts. Yeah. Well, no. Th- I, I one stage they were in like these weird like, o- oh, over oh. like. Uh, like singlet overall things, yeah. like w- like onesies. Yeah, like yeah. onesies. Yeah, it looked like they should be carrying like some hay or something. Like yeah, that. it was so strange. And yeah, they just made me laugh. Like they were just, uh, they looked so uncomfortable. Yeah, they they made no sense being there. Sonny's looks like he's going skiing in the warehouse. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so good. Oh my god, it's I think just in general the fashion in this in mm. this movie. Uh, Ryan, that was that was the first victim. What yeah. he was wearing at the start was just a, yeah, this well, is 92. Yeah, it was like a zip-up jumper with a, you know. Like it was like a wedding. turtleneck on it, wi- and then and then another jacket over the top, and it was just, yeah, this is 92. This is 92. Oh, goodness. What a film. So glad I finally watched it. Like, it's just so odd. I enjoyed that, yeah. I, it was a, it was a, if, if it went on any longer, I probably would say that I didn't really enjoy it. Yeah. That's but it was, it was the, it was the perfect length. Um. Short and sweet. Oh yeah! Oh, the last sweet thing I, I I quickly I quickly want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, right at the end, then the last scene we, when we're seeing the last death. Oh yeah. Um, so it's it's Lisa McCune's husband. They've got him in the um, oh, police that's station. Right, he's the last surviving. Yeah, and I I thought he's for sure he would have died after the person crawled down his throat. <laughs> but but we get in there and and um the police chief mm. is um the Go Go Mobile guy. G or G G or like it just came out of nowhere as well. I loved it. (laughs) It was so so awesome. awesome. (laughs) So that was like the best cherry on top. Like, oh yeah, because because that was pretty much the absolute final scene, wasn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, except for the little twist one twist scene at the end, which which is where where we revisit the convenience store where he chugs the deodorant, and it pretty much long shot. Yeah, this ah just goes forever. Goes forever, and then it just stops on the um Vimeoville tablets on the shelf. Yeah, like the ones they've been released even though like they've seized a bunch of them. Yeah, which is which are the ones that the our, our muscle men have been have been taking. So they're pretty much supplements really. Sometimes that's one thing I most people complain about with horror, they just don't know how to end it. Like you, yeah. you can write an amazing theory as to what your character does and what the what the presence is, the, the bad guy, the scary thing. But sometimes the ending is just they don't know how to finally stop it yeah and they tag on something like that at the end you just tag on a little cheeky oh look at that like i was just talking about friday the 13th part five with you before and how 
after all this shit, you know, the main character is being seen as the bad guy, but in the end he's been proven innocent. Yeah. And then it ends with a freeze frame of him wearing Jason's mask with a knife against the girl he just saved. Makes you... Like, why? Why? It's it's so... Yeah, I... I I d- it always kind of s- leaves a little sour taste in my mouth when a movie does this. And yeah. Yeah, like, they just didn't pull... In this one, they just didn't pull it off quite as well. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. That... I, like I, it's not like I could I could really <laughs> suggest any better ending, but oh, exactly. Like it, also, like yeah, it's. But it it, it is it, could it is done a, a little bit, but like they could have like him. Uh, you could have been following the cop walking past, and then like the camera just stops as he's walked past, and there's the. That the yeah, they the they could have just done the shot better, not even. Really, like, nauseating yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was nauseating. Was oh, it because was it, the camera was going in uh, backwards as well. Sideways, backwards. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was very very off putting. Very off footy. Yeah, that just definitely shows what y- error it came from. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you Eli Roth? I gotta say, I did. I yeah. enjoyed it. I, as I said, my mouth was open like the entire like the, th- the third chapter of this film. Like yeah. I was third act, I was just oh, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I re- I enjoyed it. The music was a bit grating, but I yeah, it. yeah. I understand that. I certainly understand that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Yourself? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I was uh, Eli Rothing, but yeah. I definitely really enjoyed it. I did really enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah, good, good. I would um, I well let let's say this. I th- I think I may, I may watch that again. Yeah. Yeah, I may actually Ooh, watch that again. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I actually good. wouldn't mind. Yeah, it's fun. That's I, a fun I th- movie. I would say that that might actually be the first one that I would say that I'd watch again. Like you know, if I had a group of people who like wanted to watch something a bit dumb. Yeah. Like yeah, let's let's do this. That let's do this. Perfect party kind of movie. You yeah, couple of friends over. Yeah, watch Body Melt. Yeah, watch something stupid. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, it's so great. You ever seen the man's dick explode? Yeah, <laughs> this movie. Check this out. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Oh. So good. Right. So what do we got next week, Chris? Next week. Oh goodness, my friend, you've caught me off guard. Ah, oh, I'm good at doing that. Preparation. I'm good at doing that. Damn good at doing that. Well, while you do that. Maybe I'll do the plugs. Yeah, get the, so get the plugs out of the way. Jump on our Instagram. We've got that active now at itmumpod, I T M O M P O D. We're also on Twitter. We haven't really kicked that off too much. We're not too active, but get it on the ground floor. So when we do start, you can ju- you can be there as well, and you can email us to itmumpod at gmail dot com. We've got a. We, you can send us hate mail, send us whatever you like. Send us some suggestions of of other things you'd like us to to maybe cover, or mm. maybe some things we've missed from other episodes. Yeah, if we we missed some topics, or if, even if you've you've come across an article that you thought, hey, maybe this you want to share it, throw it our way. Yeah, sure, send it or to if us. You want us to talk about something in general? Just yeah, yeah. have a chat. But, but like us on yeah. Facebook. That's probably that's probably where we're most active, where we throw some stuff up. I just threw up um, some stuff related to Bride of Frankenstein. If you haven't seen the movie, there are some really cool clips on there, including the sound, uh, the special effects scene Ooh, yeah, um, that, that we really frothed over, that we Eli rothed over. Oh, yeah. Um, ch- so check that out. We got that on the Facebook. So jump on there. We're a little bit active there. If you want to throw us anything. Cool. And as always, just want to have a big shout out to Gay Paris. Thank you once again. We hope it's cool that we're using your song. Yeah. Well, yeah I, I said I was just going to hit it and be like, yeah, I'll, I'm going to use your song for things. I still haven't done it yet. Sure. But but I'm I'm sh- I'm sure they're okay. Yeah. We we give them the shout out, so hopefully they got a couple more downloads from it. I it's hope so. it's on our, th- this specific song is up for a free download on Unearthed Triple J Unearthed mm-hmm. if you'd like to get your hands on it. So what do we got next week, Chris? Oh my goodness, I am excited. This is one I kind of forgot that I snuck in. Oh, so I'm going to introduce you to Vincent Price. You haven't seen a Vincent Price film? No, before. I have not. Oh, we're, s- we're starting with a goodie. Okay, a later Vincent Price film. From the year 1971. 71, alrighty. The abominable Doctor Fives. Okay, yeah, alright. I have I have heard ab- of this movie before. Um, I'm not obviously not familiar with. I've never seen a Vince Price movie, but I'm also not very familiar with anything that he's done. I love this movie. Okay. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just so much fun to watch. It's so silly. It's so British. Yeah. All right. I can't wait. I okay. can't wait to introduce you to it. All right. I'm really looking forward to that then. That'll be heaps of fun. All righty. All right. Well, um, that, uh, well so we're, we're going a bit away from some some unsettling stuff now, which seems nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've got 
Well, that's nice good. for me anyway. <laughs> this is a bit of a palate cleanser, getting ourselves ready for something the week after. I love the movie that was the week after. You're probably going to hate it and okay. hate me for watching it. So Good sizzle. We'll let you know next week. Good forward <laughs> sizzle. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks heaps for listening, everybody. We really yeah, appreciate it. I'm Paul McQuarter. That's Chris Dicker. Mm-hmm. We'll catch you next time. Yeah. Rest in horror, everybody. Rest in horror.